Well, hey everybody. I just thought I'd pop on here and take you on a little trip through my trash. This is the winter edition of my empties and uh, it's snowing out today. We're supposed to get up to six inches, maybe more. Um, and so I'm also trying a new tripod and I'm recording this with my iPhone. So we'll see how this goes. Um, so I've got a whole bunch of goodies, um, mostly makeup and skincare. And I want to start off with this um, Maybelline Brow Wiz. No, it's not Brow Wiz. It's Brow Ultra Slim. And this is my holy grail right now. I love this. I love it because it's a drugstore product. And it's got an ultra slim pencil with a spoolie on the end. And I have it on today. If you can see how it came out today, I thought it came out pretty good. So I can get very precise with my eyebrows. Uh, this is in um, soft brown. That seems to be the best color for me now. I think they also make this in ash brown, which um, depending on whether I get my eyebrows tinted or not, I could use that one too. But I love this one. I feel like this matches any brow product that is made by uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills, uh, Benefit, uh, for less money. So I would definitely repurchase and I will repurchase. Um, so uh, you've heard me talk about this before. This is my very, very favorite moisturizing cream by CeraVe. Um, the reason I like this so much is you can put this on damp skin. So I have one in my shower, one next to my bathtub, and I don't even have to dry off. I can just put this right on right after I've uh, taken a shower or a bath. And what I like about this is um, it's just silky smooth. It um, moisturizes immediately, so it uh, eliminates all of the water loss that happens after you dry your skin and you don't put moisturizing cream on. And I will definitely repurchase this. It's got a lot of good ceramides in it. And um, I don't really see the need to try out any other creams right now, especially this is winter and this is a really good product. For people with dry skin, normal skin, probably even oily skin all over their body. Sometimes well, I will also use this on my face if my face feels particularly dry. So we'll repurchase that. This is the CeraVe. Uh, this is not sponsored, trust me. Um, this is the CeraVe um, Micellar Water. And I probably, I'm using up one other one. I probably won't use this again. I thought I would try this as a way to take off some of my eye makeup before I wash my face at night. Um, I also thought that maybe I would use this um, instead of washing my face in the morning, I would just put a little bit of this on my face just to give it a little bit of moisture, but I don't really want it sitting on my face. Um, so I won't be using it that way. And I really do like the way um, the eye makeup remover that I have by Clinique come, takes my eye makeup off much better than this. I have to use too many um, gauze pads to get my eye makeup off with this product. But uh, So I didn't really like it for me. It's called an ultra gentle cleanser, but I don't use this to cleanse my skin. I do a double cleanse at night and I use Clinique Take the Day Off Balm and then I used uh, Vanicream um, Moisturizing Face Wash. So I thought I'd try it. It says it's hydrating and it probably is, but I probably won't repurchase that. And this is, oh, I went through this Hydrating Body Wash. This is by CeraVe also. And I bought this because I don't want to use any soap on my skin because soap will dry out my skin. And um, so I, I use this instead, but I won't repurchase this because it's very, very hard to open this container and squeeze it out. It's very thick and um, it just, it's kind of clunky. I don't really like how it opens and closes and uh, it's hard to squeeze the stuff out. And I think as I get older, I, I'm losing some hand strength. So I would prefer a non-soap product that's a pump and I have purchased something else instead and I'll be talking about that later 
in the spring when I get through that, but I won't repurchase that either. Uh, the next product that I want to talk about is sunscreen. Um, this is the uh, Banana Boats Light as Air sunscreen. It's a chemical sunscreen. And um, what I like about this is it does have a fragrance. It smells kind of coconutty, which I like. Uh, but this doesn't have a white cast because it's a chemical sunscreen. I only use this on my body and I, I was using it on my neck as well because um, I didn't want to see any white casts on my neck either. Um, I might repurchase this. It's a really big bottle and um, I found it in the summertime when I was going over to my sister Mary's pool. I went through a lot more of it. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if I will buy this again. I have one more to use up. Um, I prefer to use something that's not quite as big of a tube as this because it takes me a long time to get through it and sunscreen does expire. Um, but I do like it. Maybe I will repurchase it. I don't know what my substitute will be for it if I don't. Um, so the jury's still out on this, but I do like it. And then this is a product that I heard about from a YouTuber. Um, it's a Alpha Skin Care. It's a renewal body lotion, but it's got AHAs in it. I think it's got lactic acid in it, which is really good to help to slough off dry skin cells. So I was using this on my body, but I would not repurchase this again. I don't like it enough to do that. Also, I didn't really like this particular method of delivery. Um, this too was a very thick lotion and you had to really turn it upside down and squeeze hard to get any out. And I didn't like working that hard at it. So um, the YouTuber I watch loves this stuff, but I won't be repurchasing it for me. I don't, I didn't love it that much. Um, this is what I was talking about earlier. Um, I do a double cleanse at night. This is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm, which I really, really love a lot. This is my favorite cleansing balm. Um, I put on about a nickel size amount, rub it between my hands, put it all over my face, neck and chest, and then I emulsify it with water. And that just loosens up all the sunscreen, the makeup, the eye makeup that might be left over. Um, and then I wipe it off with a soft chamois cloth. And then I wash my face after that with um, a facial cleanser, a mild facial cleanser. But this does a really great job of loosening up my makeup and sunscreen and gets it all off so that my face is really clean when I finish and it's not stripped and dry and tight. Will repurchase that and have repurchased that again. Um, I used this up. This is the CeraVe. Well, hopefully you won't be able to tell that I just got a phone call. And so I'll have to um, make some editing changes here. But I think where I was, was I was talking about the CeraVe Ultra Light Moisturizing Lotion, which I really like this a lot. This has an SPF 30 in it. And it is a chemical, it's got chemical sunscreen, but this goes on so smoothly and it blends in, it doesn't hurt my skin. I have problems sometimes with products um, that irritate my skin, particularly if I've been a little bit more vigorous in some of my um, my actives that I use. And But this, I would definitely repurchase this again. It's an SPF 30. I'd rather have a 50. I wish it was a 50, but I guess there's only like a 1% difference between a 30 and a 50. So that's good enough for me. But I do like this a lot. It goes on really well. It's not in a very big tube or it doesn't seem like it is. And it says on here that it's for normal to oily skin. I don't have oily skin, but I do have normal to dry, but this works really well for me and I would definitely repurchase if I just wanted to use a moisturizer that had sunscreen on it. But again, um, when you do use sunscreen, um, you do need to use at least a quarter of a teaspoon on your face and a quarter of a teaspoon on your neck. Um, the dermatologists say you should be using anywhere between a third of a teaspoon to a half a teaspoon on your face and neck combined. So I just find it easier to do a quarter and a quarter. 
Um, so even though this is moisturizing lotion, you don't just dab it on, you have to use a quarter of it on your face and it blends really well. So I would repurchase that again, but I do have some other products I'm trying instead. Oh, and this was one of them. Oh my God. This is my new Holy Grail. I'm so excited about this. This is Olay Regenerous Mineral Sunscreen. It's SPF 30. Again, I wish it was 50, but it's not. What I love about this, it's got 17, it's either 17 or 17 and a half percent zinc oxide in it, which is so awesome. You cannot find many products that have the protective factor of that much zinc oxide in it and not have a white cast or to not pill up. That's what I have had a problem with. Um, having sunscreen pill on my face or leave us a, a, a white cast. This goes on beautifully. And I have actually tried it as just a moisturizer too. So you don't have to put a moisturizer on underneath and then put this on top. Um, but personally, I do like the added moisturizer on my skin because I do have tend to go dry um, due to my tretinoin use. Um, but the, the reason I love so much zinc oxide and it, what's more important to me is that I protect my skin from UVA rays. I'm not really going outside, I'm in the house, but UVA rays do penetrate through windows and I'm more concerned about skin aging from UVA rays than getting burnt in the sun. So, um, of course, I wear this when I go out too. I never leave the house without it and I don't stay in the house without it either. I put this on. So, I've already repurchased this. I've given one to my sister, Mary. I have um, posted it on Instagram. It's a holy grail for me. And I haven't found a nicer substitute than this. And it, it is not tinted. It's not water resistant. But the reason I like to use this is it doesn't change the color of my makeup and it doesn't get all over my clothes um, when I put it on my neck. So we'll repurchase. All right, what else have we got? Oh, this is my um, gentle facial cleanser. And I'm gonna just stick with this for a while instead of using any CeraVe hydrating facial cleanser. And the reason is because sometimes if I get too vigorous with my actives, my face is a little bit more sensitive and it stings. This is the only thing that I can use on my face that has no reaction to my skin at all. I do not sting when I use this. Um, and so I figured, keep it simple, just use this. It's got a lot of good stuff in it. Um, it's got glycerin um, and it just goes on silky smooth, wipes off really easily. Um, and my skin doesn't feel over dried after I've used it. So it's free of dyes, fragrance, masking fragrance, lanolin, parabens, formaldehyde, and other preservatives. So highly recommend, especially if you have sensitive skin. This sunscreen is uh, by Elta MD. I really like Elta MD products. This is called UV Sport. This is really um, an SPF 50 for people, I think, that are a little bit more active than me. Um, I think it's really meant to be used as a body sunscreen, so I really didn't use it on my face. It says full body sunscreen, which means that you probably could use it on your face, but I found it a little bit too greasy. Um, it doesn't leave a white cast, but I didn't like the shine that it left on my face. And um, I guess I could use this instead of um, the banana boat on my body, but this is expensive. It's water resistant. Um, and I just don't know. Uh, it's only got 9% zinc oxide, octinoxate 7.5%. And octisalate five percent. I'm trying to get away from using those chemical ingredients. To be honest with you, um, so I probably won't repurchase that again. But I think it's good for people that exercise outdoors, um, you know, because it's water resistant. So if it if if you put it on your face and you're sweating, it won't sting your eyes. This is another um, take the day off cleansing balm. Went through two of those. This is a a, um, a spring water spray that I got from Avene. 
And the reason I got this was I wanted to be able to spritz my face during the day just to give it some moisture. Um, the other way that I use this is before I put on my powder sunscreen, when I touch up my sunscreen during the day, it's best to, to kind of get your face a little bit damp because the powder will adhere better. So I was using this first, letting it dry a little bit and then putting the powder on just to touch up my sunscreen. Um, but I don't really think I really need this and um, it's a little bit expensive. So I probably won't repurchase this again. I have another um, moisturizing facial mist that I'm using and trying out. So I won't repurchase this again, but I liked it well enough. Then we've got the, um, this is, I guess I'll call it a travel size version of CeraVe moisturizing cream. So earlier I showed you the tub of moisturizing cream that I use, and this one is just one that you can keep in your purse. And it's a thick consistency and it's really good for your hands or if you want to put a little bit on your face or anywhere on your body, really. This is just full of such great ingredients for people with dry skin. It's got a lot of ceramides in it, and that's really important um, if you can find products with that in it. And um, so, yeah, I, I would repurchase that again for the convenience of traveling. This is my um, Retronol by Aven. This is a um, retronol lotion that I use at night on my neck and my chest because I can't use my prescription tretinoin in those areas. They're, the skin in those areas is thinner than on my face. And so um, this is one step below tretinoin. So this will only take one step to convert to the retinoic acid, which is the main active ingredient in tretinoin. Um, so this is not retinol, it's, ret it's retinol spelled with R-E-T-I-N-A-L. Um, it's an over-the-counter product. I order this on Amazon or I go to skincare.com um, or uh, even the Aven website and I order this. And so I've started to also use this around my eyes um, because um, tretinoin is too strong for the under eye area, but I do have wrinkles under my eyes and I'm trying to um, treat those. So I use this as an eye cream. Uh, I definitely will repurchase this again. This is, this was sitting in my drawer for a long time. This is Drunk Elephant's Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. And this has a lot of peptides in it, which are really good for your skin. Um, don't ask me what they do. They do a lot of good stuff. Um, but do I, I didn't love this product enough to repurchase it. It's got one of these interesting kind of pump uh, gadgets to get the, the cream out, which I liked a lot. Um, you just push down on it and the cream comes out the top. Um, I have other products that I like better. Uh, I think this costs around 50 to $58, but I have an over-the-counter product that I really like a lot, which is uh, probably only $38, roughly 38 or 39. Um, I didn't notice enough of, of anything with this really in, to purchase it again, but I do hear a lot of people talk about how much they like it. Uh, I just didn't like it well enough to purchase it again. This is um, Avino's Therapeutic Shave Gel. It's fragrance free. I'm really trying to get away from using any fragrance anywhere on my body. Um, and this is really good for sensitive skin. And I like a shave gel versus a shaving cream, which can be very drying. I have definitely repurchased this. It says helps prevent razor bumps and soothes dry and sensitive skin. So I'm all about reducing moisture loss in my skin and um, not getting sort of that dry desert sand kind of feeling on my skin. So anything I can do to retain moisture, I'm doing. And I only shave once or twice a week, but I really like this and will repurchase this again. This was something I think I got as a freebie in some Ulta package that I ordered. It's by Curel. It's hydrotherapy, 
it was just a lotion, wet skin moisturizer. That was the, the trick here. So this was supposed to be able to be used on damp skin when you get out of the shower or the bathtub. And I already have a product that I love a lot, but it was free and I wanted to use it up. This was fine. Um, you can't always use a lotion right out of the bottle on skin that is still damp. You usually have to towel dry it before you put the lotion on to lock in the moisture. But this did work well on damp skin. So if you're looking for a product that has this kind of a delivery system, it opens like that. Um, you know, this might work for you. You could probably also put this in your purse to travel with or in your suitcase. That would be a convenient use for it too. But I'm gonna stick with the CeraVe. Then this is a sunscreen that I really like. Um, this is the Ulta MD UV Elements SPF 44. Uh, I think this has 10% zinc oxide and 5.5% titanium dioxide in it. So I try to only use sunscreens that have at least 10% zinc oxide in them. So the thing that I like about this is it's tinted. However, the tint is a little too dark for me, so I do need to mix it with a lighter tinted sunscreen. Um, I have Paula's Choice SPF 30 that I can mix it with. And I also have uh, the Color Science Sun Forgettable Sun Fluid that I mix it with. Um, which is a lighter version. And so then that gives me a perfect coverage. I do love how this makes my skin look. So I can wear this on a no makeup day and look like my skin is smooth and has just a beautiful tone to it. And it does work like makeup for me, uh, but you can also wear it underneath makeup. I just would rather not use this underneath makeup because I'd rather use something that's not going to change the color of my makeup. So I prefer an untinted sunscreen. Um, but I really do like this a lot and have repurchased and will continue to repurchase. It's good for people who have darker skin than I do. They wouldn't have to mix it with um, a lighter sunscreen. So this is from Purito. This is the Comfy Water Sunblock. Purito is a, an Asian skincare brand, and this has SPF 50 plus, 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 so four pluses. So what that means, we don't rate our sunscreens in the United States by the plus factor, the PA plus factor, but uh, in Europe and in Asia, they do. So the more pluses that are on the sunscreen, the better the protection. Um, meaning UVA protection. So this has really got good UVA protection, but you know, this gets a lot of positive reviews, but I'm not gonna repurchase this because two reasons. One is I don't really seriously know if it actually has SPF in it because everything's in Korean in the back and they tell you that it does, but I just don't trust that it does. And recently they ran into some trouble with their, um, unscented uh, centella sunscreen where it actually didn't have an SPF of 50 and it had an SPF of 19. So I don't trust it. So um, I decided I wasn't gonna repurchase this again before I learned that. Um, this goes on really well without a white cast, um, but I guess I'm gonna stick with the American versions of sunscreens right now because I know exactly what's in them. So I won't be repurchasing that. And then this is um, Vanny Cream Daily Facial Moisturizer, which I actually was using in place of the CeraVe um, Daily Moisturizing Lotion that I have, um, because this does not have niacinamide in it, I don't think. I gotta put the glasses on. Uh, no. This does not have niacinamide in it. And I think that I might be sensitive to niacinamide. The jury's still out on that. I'm trying to figure that out right now. Um, but this doesn't have it in it. It does have ceramides in it. So this is a really, really good substitute for the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion, which has very similar ingredients. Um, I would repurchase this again, except that I prefer the CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion Pump versus 
this method of delivery right here, which you have to open it like that and squeeze it out. I don't know why I don't like that for, for some reason. Um, and so I probably won't repurchase it again, but I tried it and um, I am just happier with the CeraVe moisturizing lotion. All right, so we have in this um, Timeless Vitamin C Serum. This has 20% L-ascorbic acid in it, which is the gold standard of L-ascorbic acid uh, percentages that you should consider using in order to get the full benefit of Vitamin C Serum on your skin. Um, but I have found, I'm pretty sure, that that concentration of L-ascorbic acid is too much for me. Um, dermatologists say that you shouldn't use less than 10% and not more than 20% uh, L-ascorbic acid. And right now I found one that only has 15% in it and that seems to be working well without stinging my skin. And vitamin C has a lot of good uh, features about what it does for your skin. So I wanna keep using it because it acts as a skin brightener and it helps to reduce um, some of the uh, dark spots that I have on my face. So I won't repurchase Timeless again um, unless my skin gets so used to the 15% that I might wanna try this again. What I liked about this is it's in an airless pump because vitamin C degrades very quickly um, over a three month period. So you kind of have to use it up in that period of time unless you put it in the refrigerator, which slows things down. So, so if I can get my skin used to this 15% vitamin C, I might go back to trying this because the one that I'm using right now isn't in an airless pump. Um, so I'm trying to use it really fast. But um, other than the fact that it stinged my face, I liked the, the, the delivery system of this and I like how it smells and I liked how it felt when it went on my face. I just need to figure out if I can get my face acclimat, acclimated to it if I do decide to go back to it. And then I have, uh, I went through a tube of tretinoin. Tretinoin is uh, retin-A or retinoic acid. And this is a proven anti-aging active for uh, your skin. So I have noticed a huge improvement in my skin since I started using tretinoin two years ago. Um, I've seen some major skin brown spots go away. Um, I used to have one really big spot right there and I can't see it at all. And so I use this now every other night. Uh, that seems to be what works best for me. It's winter time here, so the way I'm using it now is to put moisturizer on first, let that dry down, and then I put this on as my last step in my skincare routine at night. Um, so I have repurchased that. I have another tube going right now. This is a makeup product. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, and it's a very silicone-y type primer. It definitely smooths your pores. Um, I have, I pretty much have small pores that aren't really noticeable because I have dry skin, but I do have, I think, noticeable pores on my nose and around my nose and on my chin, and so that's where I put this, and it really does smooth that out and then it helps my makeup stay on better during the day. I'm working on another tube of this, which I will get through. I will not repurchase this because I'm going to try another product as a primer, um, but I did like it. This is my, um, I hit pan on something, yay. This is MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. It was a pressed powder uh, this is something that I used at the end of applying my makeup just to give me that sort of airbrushed look. This is in medium plus, and I really like this a lot, and I have repurchased this again, but I'm using another product right now um, that I want to get through, but um, I really like this a lot. 
The other way that I have used this is to use it as a powder foundation in the summertime. Um, that That's just a, a lighter layer of foundation instead of using uh, a liquid foundation or a cream. And this gives me a nice color tone to my skin. So I have repurchased this and we'll keep using that. This is an Alme uh, drugstore product. It's Alme Brow Styler. I heard about this from one of my favorite YouTubers. This is in soft brown. Um, I won't repurchase this again. It was fine, but I did not like, she liked that little wand, if you can see it. It's a wand, a very, very, very thin wand. I did not like that. I like smaller wands, very short, stubby, smaller wands. I don't have, I have nice eyebrows, but I don't have big bushy eyebrows. And I don't, I think there were a couple times when I used this product where I actually got it on my skin and I didn't like that. Um, I, it, it really, I don't know, it didn't really impress me that much. So I won't buy it again. Um, it's probably a good uh, starter brow gel for someone who's just getting started in brows, but um, I, I can use pretty much any brow product now without making a major flub up. So I don't need a beginner product. And I'm not saying this is a beginner product, but I just didn't love it enough to purchase it again. This is um, a lip product from, I think it's Neutrogena. It's Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Lip Shine. And I did like this. This is in color 20. I did like this, but I think the color was probably not quite right for me. Um, so the way I used this mostly was I would just have it at the table next to me in the living room when I was watching TV or after dinner and I want to put some moisture on my lips, I would just slap it on. And, and I liked, I like having uh, something on my lips all the time. It's not a lip plumping gloss. It doesn't tingle or anything like that. Um, I liked how it felt. I just didn't really love the color. So I wouldn't repurchase this color again, but once I get through the thousands of lip products that I have in my drawer, I might go back and get this again. I'm trying to simplify. This is a product I use on my skin um, at night. Uh, this is the uh, Timeless Matrixyl Synth 6 Serum. That's hard to say. Um, this is a really nice product for anti-aging and it's got a lot of peptides in it. And I like how it feels on my face. I just use like four or five drops on my face, my neck, and my chest each, and um, it just helps to give me some additional moisture on my dry skin, and then I seal it in with um, moisturizing lotion, and I definitely will repurchase. I use this only at night, and I use another product in the morning. Um, this is the e.l.f. Uh, Solid Sponge Cleanser. This is a charcoal cleanser. This was really hard to find and I got it online. You can't find it in a store. Um, and I heard about this from a YouTuber and I used this to clean my beauty blender sponges and my brushes, but it's charcoal, which is very messy. Um, you had to keep the cap open to let it dry before putting the cap on. I didn't love it so much that I want to buy it again. I really like the Beauty Blender product, so I will continue to repurchase that. And then the last things I have are, I've got um, a couple of eyebrow, I call them, they're, they're little, little shavers. This is the one I use for my eyebrow. And this is made by Ardell, and I get this in TJ Maxx. And I really like it because it's really small and you can't screw it up and you don't, uh, you not, don't have to be worried about um, shaving off your eyebrow. But I use this after I pluck to um, get any additional hairs that I might have not seen in my 5X mirror. And this one is by Shiseido. 
And I use this um, just to do a little dermaplaning right here. Yep, for the little uh, mustache. You know, we ladies, as we get older, it happens. It's going to happen. And um, so I use that for that and just to touch up around my mouth and my nose and just keep everything nice and clean. Helps the makeup go on smoothly. And then this was a product from Urban Decay. It was a lip uh, lip liner, but it wasn't really a liner. It was a, um, a lip primer. It was completely clear. It was a pencil, won't repurchase. Don't like having to sharpen a lip primer. Um, didn't really love how it felt going on. So I'll be going back to my, probably my Holy Grail lip primer will not be repurchasing that and then my last one definitely won't be purchased I did not like this one uh, this is a lip liner and um, it's by Revlon Color Stay in Mauve I did not like this and I did not empty it as you will see but I threw it out because phew it smells rancid um, if you don't use it fast enough, apparently it gets old fast and I did not like that smell and before I even noticed that it smelled rancid, I did not like how it, um, it didn't go on my lips real smoothly. There was a lot of drag to it. So unfortunately I won't be buying this again. So that's it. Thanks for taking a trip through my trash. I hope this was good for you and, um, this is the winter edition of Trash Talk, and I will see you in the spring. Bye for now.